This lesson is about adding time. How can simple addition problems involving time be solved? For example, how can you find what time it will be if you add a certain number of hours and or minutes to the current time? A clock is divided into 12 parts, representing AM and PM hours. The small hand on a clock represents hours, and each number on a standard clock represents one hour in a day, either during AM or PM hours. The long hand on a clock represents minutes, and each number on the standard clock represents a multiple of five minutes. When finding the minutes after an hour, count each number by fives. So this is one o'clock, and this is 105. 110, 115, 120, and so on. Once the minute hand rotates once around the clock, a full hour, or 60 minutes, has passed. Looking closely at the clock, one can see smaller tick marks between each number. These marks represent individual minutes, and there are five small segments between each number. This is why minutes are counted by fives when using the numbers on a clock. If a minute hand falls between two numbers, simply count by fives up to the number before where the minute hand is, and then count by ones. So here, the hour is at 4, and the minute is at 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the time is 418. Now we can try some addition with time. Sarah put a cake in the oven at 9 o'clock, and it needs to bake for 15 minutes. At what time will she need to take the cake out of the oven? To find out, she would add 15 minutes to 9 o'clock. She will count by fives because she is only adding minutes. So this is 9 o'clock, and she adds 5, 10, 15 minutes to her time. She will need to take the cake out at 9.15. While the hour remained the same, the minutes changed. If Frank walked his dog for 10 minutes and left the house at 1.45, what time did he return? His minute hand would move from 45, 5, 10 minutes. The new time is 1.55 because the hour hand has not quite reached the 2 o'clock mark yet. And starting from the beginning of the hour, we count 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, 155. Sammy wants to read for 20 minutes and then plans to go for a walk. If she starts reading at 2.15, what time will she be finished to go for her walk? When she starts reading, the hour hand shows the 2 o'clock hour, while the minute hand shows 15 minutes after. Counting by fives until she reaches 20, she sees her minute hand will be on the 7 when she stops reading. 5, 10, 15, 20. So she started at 2.15, and now the time is 2.20, 2.25, two 2.30, 2.35. Bernard is waiting on his friend to pick him up to go see a movie. His friend calls and says he is exactly 10 minutes away. Bernard looks at his watch and sees it is 10.32. He sees the minute hand is two tick marks past the six. So when he counts by fives, he will count the second tick mark after each whole number. So five, 10 minutes. His friend will arrive at 10.42. He could also just mentally add 10 to 32 to get 10.42. When the minute hand reaches the 12 again, a new hour begins, and the minute count starts back at zero. There are 60 minutes in one hour, so when minutes are added to a time that makes more than 59 minutes, hours are then added. Here is an example. If it is 4.50 and Jeremy needs to bake a batch of brownies for 30 minutes, it will no longer be in the 4 o'clock hour when he pulls out the brownies. Since 50 minutes have already gone by in the 4 o'clock hour, there are only 10 minutes left until it is 5 o'clock. That means the brownies would have baked for 10 of the 30 minutes at 5 o'clock. It would need to bake 20 more minutes. The hour hand will be in the 5 o'clock hour once the minute hand hits 12, and then you would add the additional 20 minutes. 
5, 10, 15, 20. He would need to take his brownies out of the oven at 5.20. So remember, when adding time, start at the given time and add up. The whole numbers on the clock are used to represent both hours and minutes, with the hours counted by ones and the minutes counted by fives. Once 60 minutes has passed in an hour, a new hour begins and the minutes start back at zero.